Hey, what's up, scale model enthusiasts out there? 65 Lokes with another video. Just wanted to show you guys what I've been up to in this month of September. Um, I am participating in the dedicated magazine Radical Build Off. Um, it's been a busy month. The last couple weeks, I've been doing tons of body work on another model that I'm not going to show you. Um, that was my Radical Build. I took that one away because there was some areas which were causing me a lot of time a lot of work, a little bit of a headache, and I decided, you know what, um, let me redo it, but I'm gonna do it a lot cleaner because I learned along the way the mistakes that I was making with that car. My original um, pick is the 62 Chevy Bel Air, which is gonna be my radical build, and I wanted to start it off with switching off the roof. This is the original uh, roof from that kit. I went ahead and I cut it out and pretty much I wanted to get a different uh, roof and I ended up going with the one from the 62 Catalina. It's already installed here. This is the Catalina here. This is where I cut it from, pretty much starting from the door. Um, like the ends of the door is pretty much running it all the way back. And as you can see the, the rear here, there's like those little fins. I pretty much just ran my saw blade from pretty much from there all the way up and the same. And I managed to uh, to measure on the Bel Air and I fit it on there. I still um, need to sand it down quite a bit, mold it a little. And once I have that done, I need to shoot some primer on this car um, so I can get rid of that line there. I know most of you looking at this are gonna be like, well, that looks like a 62 Impala. Why didn't you go with the 62? Well. I started off with my selection of the 62 Bel Air uh, for entering the contest and I didn't want to cheat my way and just grabbing a 62 um, Impala and just going for it. So I wanted to test myself and I wanted to, um, I've never done this before, swapping of roofs. This is the first time I'm ever doing it and hey, it's it's been pretty fun. I've learned some things along the way. I mean, I did say I had a little bit of a headache, but it's just, I guess it's just the timing, you know, you want to get things done, but you need to um, have that patience. And one thing I did discover is that this, uh, the Catalina kit, the, the frame and the belly do separate and they fit. So I wouldn't say perfect, but close to perfect. They feel great on the Bel Air. So if you guys own uh, both of these kits. I know the 62 uh, The frame and the belly is like attached together one piece But if you want to have two like separate pieces you can use this in the on the bottom of this um, As far as the engine goes, I'm using pieces from a 67 um, Impala Super Sport. It's not fully done yet, but I am uh, connecting the two pieces together here. Let me try to get a little bit closer here. Let me adjust this. Here we go. So I'm using the, the belly there, the engine. Let me just pop in the, the hood here. So I wanted to go with this because I wanted that clearance. So this way it fits when I close the, uh, the hood. So I don't have any, any issues. I just put tape for now on the front grill. I'm not sure what's going to happen with the face. There's still a lot of work that I need to do. I'm going to be getting rid of obviously the door handles, the side trim. Um, I'm going to shape up the doors different to cut them out. And let me, let's look at the bottom. All right. Some things might fall off because everything is not really glued. Um, so I might add that pipe on the side there too. Slip it underneath. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so, Oh, these are uh, JPS wheels, by the way, that I'm rocking right here. He gave these to me l earlier this year at the uh, NNL West. He selected my Hudson Hornet. That was his pick, and this was my reward. So I, um, I'm i very uh, proud to uh, use these on this car. And uh, so let's see here. We got this little mock-up right here for now. Uh, a lot of these pieces are not glued yet, but... I'm just kind of, you know, just for the mock-up, let's look at the front. There we go. Um, you know, got the wheels attached and everything. So, um, yeah, it's uh, insides from the Catalina there. 
the the wheels do swivel for now back and forth and uh no no i won't roll you see look what happens there you go let me show you right there so still a little more touches that need to be added check these out these are cool look at the back part already has a little hole right there um so this is current project that's why i have not been posting really any videos i've just been working like a madman on this every night um, so now that we're done with this step here, now I can move forward, uh, start doing the, the body work, start cutting stuff open, and then following that is going to be the hinging. I do want to spend this month of September just doing body work on this car um, and working the door jams and all that stuff. By next month, my plan is to uh, start doing, uh, we'll start laying down base, start painting it. And also start working on the interior so um, these came in today I plan on using them tonight in a little bit after this video I'm gonna start sanding away um, and at the same time the more I look at this I mean I'm not gonna toss these pieces I can still use this make this uh, somehow fit there we go that way I can have a, a little like a bubble top or whatever the Catalina but you know what this is, if I do that, if I glue it on and everything, it's basically going to be going back to like a 61 uh, Catalina, which Mobius kits already released. So I don't know. I'm not going to toss it. I'm going to keep this stuff extra pieces along the way, but uh, just stay tuned. I just wanted to give you guys a little update and let you know what I came across working on both of these cars here. So uh, more work lies ahead. Hopefully uh, the next videos I do on this car. Um, more things will be assembled on oh, check this out too about the Catalina Look how flush The bottom is and, and, and it's two pieces. I didn't even have to cut anything and look at that It fits like nothing sticking out you, you can lay it nice and flat, you know, you can uh, make some modifications to the back To the front and when you and everything will fit in here You can fit everything in here and then you can just sit that thing down like slam that thing low, you know um, so really happy with these little discoveries and, uh, quite a lot of work lies ahead, but I'll get it done. I'll get it going, you know, so we'll see what happens. I'm just having fun with this car here and, uh, let's take her out for a spin. All right, guys. Thanks. Peace.